Here's the art supplies I'm going to be using today. And the challenge for today is to create a character, design them from scratch, inspired only by three colors. I've done this once before and it was so much fun, so I'm very excited to do it again. So what I need to do is pick three colors at random. So what I think I'm gonna try first is I've gotta like flip it over and see what the first one to fall out is. We have Royal Blue or PB6. To find marker number two, see so I have a little bit of washi tape. What if I just drop a piece and see where it lands? Try that again, see where it lands. That looks like Y2. Uh-huh, sunflower. So there's two colors. To figure out our third third color, I'm going to take this ring. It's just a little keychain ring, and I'm gonna try and hook it on one. Be prepared for these mad skills. All right, all right. Ugh. Does it look like it's on one more than the other? Give it a little extra motivation. Oh, I think, I think we have a winner. G2 or Vivid Green. This isn't a good mix, I'm gonna tell you right now. But I'll show you when we start swatching them. So first we got our Royal Blue. I'm hoping this one's really, really dark. Okay, yeah. This this could work, this could work. Okay, no, that's pretty, oof. Uh-oh, all right, we'll see, we'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's okay. And then our Vivid Green. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> this has gone from let's see if we can make a fun character design to let's see if we can make a character design that doesn't look like barf. I'm gonna try mixing some of the colors too. Green, sunflower on top. So let's see what green we get when we mix blue and yellow. Oh, see now that's a nice dark green that we can use next to our, our vivid green. Do you see the contrast between those two colors? That will be very, very helpful. Grabbing a pencil, I kind of want to experiment with like maybe a young boy kind of character. That's the first thing that's coming to mind. And when you're brainstorming, it's pretty important to kind of let your first ideas kind of like grow and see where they can take you before you throw them down and say they're stupid. So let's just draw a little boy. So now we have a very generic face. It's not really sparking anything. We have royal blue, which could be very like royalty, like a king. Let me just draw a little crown. We have sunflower, which obviously is just a sunflower, right? <laughs> just, it's like my favorite flower. And vivid green honestly isn't ringing any bells. Maybe like a clover or something. I don't know, maybe slime? Just a goop of slime. <laughs> if we go with like the little kid that I first thought of, what if it's like a kid who's made himself king of some kind, like a tree house or something like that. So he like sits there like this. He, he found a sunflower that he uses as his scepter. I'd have to figure out how to draw sunflowers first, but like something like that. <laughs> and he like rules the playground or his backyard. He's got a nice big chin. And then his feet would be here. He like sits all scrunched up. But then he'd be wearing probably pretty normal looking clothes. And maybe he has like a band-aid on his knee. And then he'd have to wear some kind of crown. I don't know if he would make the crown out of something or if it's just like a toy crown of some kind. You can kind of maybe play around with the colors a little bit. For that, I'm going to switch over instead of a mechanical pencil, I'm going to use this pink Coleraise pencil. That way I can use the markers on top of it without the markers picking up the graphite. So what I'm going to do is go zoom out a little bit, not worry about the personality so much and try and focus in on the character design. Now, when you're doing the actual character design, obviously the personality is important because that can implement a lot of different aspects to what the character might be wearing and things like that. But for this specific part, what I need to do is really just draw almost a T pose, something very basic. Just make sure that I can see the whole character at once and see how the design will look as a whole before I worry about the pose. I might make him shorter. This looks a little too tall. I kind of want him younger. So I'm gonna make him probably like three or four heads tall. So that's one head, two heads, three heads, and then that's four. So by those measurements, we know we have to cut this up a little bit. 
very square. And there. Now he's shorter. See how that works? He has a very large head, but that's exactly what I want. For clothes, I'm thinking it'd be funny if he's wearing maybe his play clothes, so something normal like a t-shirt, but then he dug into his own clothes and found like his fancier clothes and he put those on so that he can look like a king. So maybe he's got like a tie that he doesn't know how to wear. Maybe it's his dad's or something like that. That's so like kind of loose. Maybe one end is like poked up like this. And then the little piece is on top because he has no idea what he's doing. Kind of like that would be funny. And then his crown, I do like the slanted. So let's try that again. And he has his giant sunflower. I'm taking this idea very literally so far. Maybe it has a little bit of a curve to it. And then he holds on to it like right around here. This arm will come down this way. Kind of like that. And then I'd like to try out some of the colors. I'm going to add a little bit of a fine liner to some of the elements. I'm here poking out. Maybe the tie has pokey dots. I'm start simplifying some of these shapes so I can be a little bit quicker about this. So I can see if I like the colors with this design before I put too much time into it. <laughs> All right, let's try the colors out. This is where I'm getting a little nervous. So we know like certain things would probably be certain colors, right? But then we run into problems like for the center of the sunflower, we don't have a brown. So we'll have to start mixing some colors. I wanna go as far as I can without like adding any extra colors. Cause I wanna kind of follow the challenge. You can use like blue to add a little bit of shading to the green. I'm not worried about coloring inside the lines because at this point I'm just trying to see if the colors are going to look good next to each other or not. Because otherwise we're going to have to start back at the beginning. I think a yellow shirt makes sense with like a green dino. See this blue is very, very dark. So it's kind of a, having a hard time seeing the line art underneath of it. I'm just not crazy about the color scheme, to be honest. It's just so primary. If it had red in there, <laughs> It would just be the primary colors. And they're all kind of like competing for attention. They're all very similarly toned. So what I might have to do is really simplify the design because then I won't have so many different things that need to be colored and I won't be spreading out the color as much, which is what gives it that kind of cheesy look. Kind of like I just colored a coloring page. Oh yeah, see, I definitely did make a mistake because we have, we have the blue, we have the yellow, and then we have the green and they're all kind of connected together. Then we have this tie that goes over all three colors. So you can't color in the tie with any of those three specific colors without it overlapping another color. So I think we're going to have to try and simplify this. I'm gonna just try and draw something completely different. I'm kind of picturing a boy skating or something. Just see where this takes me. Try some foreshortening. Not sure where this was going. It definitely feels very up in the air still, even after working on this for as long as we've been doing it. Um, that little skater boy <laughs> kind of looks like he'd hang out with wheels, scoot, and decks. Maybe he has one of those like flat build hats. <laughs> kind of want to keep that really high nose. I'm gonna try moving this leg a little though before I give up on it. It looks like he's throwing a baseball now. So we're gonna give him our baseball. I really like the huge feet. I think those are adorable. Let's give him like a big jersey. Maybe he's a little baseball fan. Maybe he plays for the dinos. What if his hair is just really short and like almost buzz? Didn't try that yet. <laughs> now his head kind of looks like a baseball. It's so circular. These big squishy shoes. I think the arms. Shoulder, but the sleeves need to be redrawn a little. Gotta make it look more like a jersey. He's gonna be holding a baseball. Maybe he's got a baseball glove in the other hand. Guess he's a left handed. Oh, I'm liking this. This is kind of cute. I like the oversized shirt, the little skinny pants with the giant shoes. We're carrying that dino from over here into his logo. And then he should probably give him a baseball hat. Although that's like, I'm <laughs> mixing different things. He looks like he's the pitcher 
He's obviously not wearing a league grade uniform and then he's wearing a batting helmet. I should make him smiling so you can see his um, mouth guard. I like his, his personality has always looked kind of competitive. So I feel like this suits him really, really well. And it was just because I drew that really weird shaped pose. And then I thought it looked like he was throwing something. Like look how things kind of grow from nothing, you know? I was very much lost earlier <laughs> and now i feel like i'm heading in the right direction and the di and the, the banner wraps around like a t-rex head and it's like angry <laughs> or maybe it's a happy t-rex it's a little uh little big i might have to move this down it's all right just figuring it out it's a little bit like an alligator But I think their necks come out this way, section like this, and then that's where their pecs are, where their hands come out, kind of like this. Rawr! And then here is where we might put the word dino. Their arch rival, the comets. <laughs> kind of want to simplify it. I like him. He's kind of cute, but I think it needs to be simplified. What if he's not a T-Rex? What if he's like a more cutesy dinosaur? Not that T-Rexes aren't cute. What if his eye is like the dot of the eye for the word dino? And I wanted his tail coming around like this. Like it doesn't really make sense, but I feel like that's what logos do sometimes with sports teams. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I'm kind of digging it. So now what I haven't done yet is actually used the colors in relationship with our new character design. So that's something I need to do, right? I'm just so nervous about it because these colors are just, like I said, probably many, many times competing with each other. There isn't one that's like lighter than the others that lets the other ones shine. They all want to be the color of the illustration and that doesn't really work. So I think Instead of letting one color stand out more based on the actual color, I'm going to have to just pick one and use mostly one color and then use the other two for accents, I think. <laughs> so let's see. Let's go ahead and take this color race pencil and just draw our character so we can color him. Oops, that's going to be way too big. I can already tell you that now. Just kind of quickly lay out the pose. This giant jersey little skinny legs. Let's quickly lay out everything. Make sure everything kind of makes sense to the most part. Nothing too crazy. Maybe you can hold a baseball. <laughs> Probably make it breaking a lot of baseball rules. I apologize. I actually used to watch baseball <laughs> back in like 2007 probably. I lost interest in it after a while. <laughs> Just really wasn't my sport. Nothing wrong with it. Stripes, yeah. What if I put up a hoodie? <gasps> Ooh! See, it's never too late to add something. Look at this. I love it. I gave him a little hoodie. See, now it looks like he's less trying to actually play a league game and he's just a fan of the sport. I like that better. <laughs> then I don't have to like worry about breaking rules. Or he plays, but it's his off day, you know? That way I don't have to give him a hat either. I kind of didn't want to. It looks like his name's Jake. So I'm just gonna start calling him Jake from this point on. And then for this hand, I think he could probably be holding... What can he be holding? I mean, I could give him the baseball glove again. I like him. I just need to draw his eyes. Maybe finalize a little more of his mouth. And then maybe put that dino logo on here. Ta-da! I don't know if they put numbers on the side of jerseys in baseball or just on the back, but I want to put a little number on the side of his sleeve there. Okay, I think I'm ready to start adding in some line art next. Use studies of 0.5 or a 0 0.05. We'll start with 0 0.05 and then build up from there maybe. Little eyeballs. <laughs> I like his face. And we have ears. Let's do the sweatshirt. 
And then the little baseball tee. Kind of comes like that. It has those raglan sleeves. <laughs> I love his face. I don't know what it is. I'm just like in love with him. My little baby. Mother's love. Now these fingers I'm a little nervous about. But I'm gonna draw... There we go. Little pink, little fingernails can sometimes help in situations like this one in particular. Glad I didn't use a thicker liner. This one seems to be perfect. Oh! I was gonna use the 0 .05! What? Well then, that explains a lot. Mm-hmm. Guess I'm using the 0 .5. The whole... <laughs> I looked at both of them so that I would use, make sure I use the right one. And then I go and use the wrong one. Make these shoes really simple and big and poofy. If I draw this one too. All right, now all we have left is this glove. Got some like stitching. Ta-da! Line art. <laughs> useless pen I never used. I mean, you're not useless. I just didn't use you. Oh, we didn't do this. I can just switch to the 0 0.05. Try and do our little dino logo. What if I could make it so that the dinosaur was chewing on the letter D? Is that possible? And then the dinosaur tail at the bottom. All right, now for the colors. My decision was to focus mainly on one color in specifically. And I was leaning towards blue, but then I remembered that they're called the dinos, so maybe it should be green. Yeah, change my mind. Green. Okay, so most everything is going to be green. So if I want to color it, it's going to be green, unless it's some kind of accent. And uh, yeah, if I stop now, I'll never try. There we go, we got that much. I'm thinking for the stripes, I'd like to use the tip of this yellow chisel, maybe. Like this. A little thicker than I wanted it to be, but that'll do. Coloring in everything. <laughs> and since these pants end above the shoe, we could probably use green to color in the shoe too, because they don't touch. I'm thinking I'd like to color in this whole thing green and then overlap some of the sections with another color. But since I've already put down that green, it's obviously going to look pretty green as our end result. So then maybe layer yellow. Just so we get some variety there without it being too crazy. Then for the glove, we could probably go solid yellow. Add a little bit of green accents to it. Let's see, maybe around this little hole in there. And maybe this whole area here. Not sure how people design gloves, but it's an interesting concept here. <laughs> I don't know. Thinking I'll use yellow as well for the hoodie. Although, wait, wait, wait. The hoodie would probably be over the sleeves as well, right? So color that in yellow. And then I had him wearing a little glove, like a little fingerless glove there. So I'm going to color that in blue and then put green on top of it. So that it stays in our color scheme. And I'll probably just add another one here. So that it's kind of matchy-matchy. And then I think I'm gonna use that color for the hair as well, the green mixed with the blue. What's that, vivid green and royal blue? And that should look close enough to black that it will pass as a hair color. I might have to put yellow on top of it too, we'll see. There we go. So now the only thing that's really missing, a little shading. We do need to color in the logo, which I think I'll use green for that. Use some blue for some shading between the letters. I think I'll keep the back of the shirt white, but the only thing that still feels a little off to me is the skin. Obviously it's still paper white. So I'm gonna allow myself to grab another color, figure out which color though. Give it some kind of tone so that it's not white. I'm using warm gray 01 and I'm just gonna put that in. I think this should add a little something without distracting from the rest of the design. 
I might even be able to use this to add like some shading to the shirt. I mean, it's our extra color. Might as well get some full use out of it and add like a little bit of a shadow underneath him. Now Dino kind of got lost. So I'm going to grab a white gel pen and I'm just going to go over the letters. Make them pop. And voila, there's Jake, our little little baseball boy. Do you see how this color scheme is not so crazy and it's not full of all three primary colors at full strength like this one was? See how those colors are all kind of competing for your eye and your attention and you don't know where to look and it just kind of looks overall kind of sloppy. Whereas here, I made sure that I focused mainly on one specific color and then when I did use the other colors I layered it with the green as well or let it be yellow but the yellow doesn't fill as large sections as the green does and it makes green a much more primary color and so even though the color scheme was a little difficult to work with I managed and I'm, I'm much more happy with this versus this. So there we have my three color character design character. Jake. If I had more color options, I would... Oh wait, I have this pink pencil that I was already using. I can use that. Ooh. Hey, that brings a little life to him. I'll take it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'd love to see what you come up with if you pick three random colors and create a character from them. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye! Oh, and then there could be little yellow flowers. Little dandelions. Cute. What am I doing? Bye!